So I had to find some other way of helping myself. I used Excel spreadsheet a lot for my work. So I opened one on the computer. And this is actually what I did. I just dragged one piano keyboard uh, onto the spreadsheet, manipulated it until the piano keys are all perfectly matched with the, uh, with the rows. Then I selected the rows that go through the black keys and color them gray. And there you have a giant piano keyboard. And let's make some music notes on this keyboard. And these are actually the first notes produced on my invention, yeah? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Yeah, that's simple. And this is actually the illustration that went to the US patent office and was included in the patent certificate that was finally approved and issued in October 2008. As you can see from the references cited and examined by the patent office, I wasn't the first one to try to reinvent music notation for piano. The serious efforts are dated back all the way to the year 1870. I gave the name house staff to my invention, to the spreadsheet drawings, and uh, this is what the actual music sheet looks. By the way, they are not uh, made by Excel spreadsheet anymore. <laughs> yeah. And there you have the higher notes uh, written by Beethoven himself to be played by the right hand and lower notes to be played by the left hand. And you also have the finger numbers to indicate what fingers to use to play the notes. The house staff sheets carry all the information that the traditional grand staff sheets carry, except that they're laid out on the background of elongated black and white keys instead of the abstract system of uh, lines and spaces key signatures, you know, if some of you study music, you will know, uh, sharps and flats. It is effectively uh, what you see is what you get version of grand staff. 